Hello programmer, today's tutorial is on JavaScript event. On the internet there are many JavaScript event. But here we are going to learn about 6 most common and most popular JavaScript event. Before we get started, first we have to know what JavaScript event actually do. JavaScript event handler can be used to handle and verify user input, user action and browser action. Let's start with our first JavaScript event on click event. Now run this on browser. When I click the button, I got hi there. Let's see what is happening in this code. When we click the button, then this onclick event triggered the function called my function, which we have created here. After that, the content hi there is put inside the element whose ID is demo, which is this. Next one is on mouse over. Just send on click with on mouse over and see what will happen. Here we can see that when we move a mouse pointer over the button, it triggers the JS code and we will see hi there. Another is on mouse out. This event is often used together with on mouse over. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Then change on mouse over with on mouse out and change those function with over and out. Now make a duplicate function of this function and change the function name by over and out. On mouse over, I want to display mouse in, but on mouse out, I want to display mouse out. Save this and see the result. Now when I move the mouse pointer over the button, mouse in is appear. But when I move the mouse pointer out from the button, mouse out is appear next one is unchange event for unchange event write a flowing code now save this and run on browser before we select drop down option there is no result shown but after we select another option which have different value then this unchange event is triggered and we get this result another is on key of event Here we can see that the onkey of event is occur when the user release of key. At last unload event. This unload event is most often used within a body element to execute a JS code once a web page has completely loaded all the content. Now write unload attribute in a body element. If you have any question on this video, then leave it in a comment section and share this video with your friend and click the subscribe button.